Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, today I want to do a little show and tell on hose clamps. And you might have clicked on this, you might have been thinking hose clamps, heck they're all the same. Well, guess what? They're not all the same. And I want to show you some of the differences between them. Uh, I started left to right from what in my opinion are the worst ones to the best ones. Alright, so let's look at this. This is uh, Chinese or Taiwan. And let me switch to a close-up. And this may come out a little bit better. Uh, this hose clamp, it's the the cuts that it's a worm drive. They call it a worm drive. You turn this thing, uh, you turn the, the screw head and it compresses or it shrinks or it narrows down the hose clamp. Uh, that's called a worm drive. The trouble with the cheap ones is if you look on the bottom where the where this piece that the screw runs through is attached it's just clamped around there and I think maybe you can see there's a split in it there's a split there where they have formed it around the screw and around the clamp and that split can open up if you put too much tension or torque you try to tighten it too tight it'll start opening up in here and you'll lose tension and you could have a leak this is okay for some you know very basic simple uh, low-end applications uh, maybe your garden hose I don't know but um, I wouldn't put this on a on a car I would definitely not put it on a good car um, because it's gonna it's gonna probably get over tightened and it may get stripped and you won't be able to get enough tension on it to hold the hose on the fitting and prevent a leak. Now these are original equipment BMW clamps, hose clamps. The the part where the screw grabs is raised up whereas in the other one it was flat. So this get a little more screw to clamp um, grip and also the way this P, this part is formed is the, it, it goes through a little slot. There's a slot there where the piece goes around the tab. There's a tab that comes through the slot and then the tab is crimped down. So this will take a lot more tension as you, as you turn the screw this one is just slotted for a flat blade screwdriver. I like the ones that are slotted for a Phillips or a flat. It's just a nice feature. Uh, so that's BMW original equipment. This one is called Oetker. O-E-T-I-K-E-R. Don't know if you can read it or not. Um, and this is also a, a substitute for a BMW original equipment. It has the feature where you can either put a flat blade or a Phillips head screwdriver in it and tighten it. It's also exactly the same. It, you wrap this piece of metal around, this formed piece of metal around. You put this tab through the slot and it's crimped over. So you can put more torque or more tension on that one, that one, not so much on this one. It'll spread open. The next one is on a lot of American cars. It's called a constant tension clamp. And there's a special pair of pliers you use to squeeze this to open it up, slip it over the hose, you let it go. You don't ever have to re-tighten it, whereas these, theoretically, you might have to go and re-tighten it once in a while, maybe every 50, 70,000 miles, I don't know. Um, but the problem with these is I just had I just replaced a hose um, on my Corvette, and the new hose was a Gates hose. The old hose, original equipment, had was a little thicker in the overall 
um, circumference. So this was designed for the thickness of the hose, the original equipment hose, but when you put a slightly thinner Gates hose on there, this didn't have enough tension on it uh, because, you know, once it gets this small, that's it. It won't tighten anymore. So it did, it, um, it's a good design, but if you're going to be putting different kinds of hoses on and not original equipment hoses, then I would stay away from this one. This beauty I found it online. This is called ABA ABBA. It's a Swedish hose clamp. There, maybe you can see that ABA. Anyway, you just look at it. It's it's like finely machined. It's it's just got a uh, for a flat blade. Or these these of course will also take a little nut driver. Um, most most of the time you're going to use a nut driver on this rather than a screwdriver, but you could go either way. But look at this blue part. It's all one piece. It's one piece that's pressed into the correct size. It's thick. It c you could put probably double or triple the torque on this clamp versus any of the other ones and it'll just keep tightening and tightening till it cuts through the hose probably um, it's got a big screw it's it's the biggest screw of all of these and I just I just like this one piece it's just one piece it's it's a heavy gauge it's it's not ever going to spread you're not going to be able to strip this through there. You'll be able to tighten this down. And it's a little bit thicker. If you look at it compared to the to BMWs, it's a little bit thicker. Um, it's about the same as the constant... Oh, there, get back in frame. It's about the same as the constant uh, tension one, except the constant tension one has a little narrow section here. So this one has the same size all the way around. Anyway, that's enough. That's my thing on hose clamps. They're not all created the same. So if you want to do a job once and do it right, these are not expensive either. I think I paid, you know, I got 10 for about $15 or something like that. Um, they're a good deal, a good value. I got them from a, a company in Massachusetts online. Um, and they're imported from, from Sweden. So there you go. Froggy out. Have a great day. There's your hose clamps. Bye-bye.